Hello everyone, and welcome back to my European Space Agency RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are going to try to send our space plane to our newly launched station and renovated station and then try to bring it back, but it's probably a long shot considering we're still in the development phase of our Neko spacecraft. And there it is. So, it's built and we'll find out what's wrong with it. Well, it looks like we're launching at night for this. And last time we got a little bit imbalanced. We have since shifted the Vulcane engine and also added two Vernier RZ-20s and we'll see how that goes for us. I'm not too sure it's going to be sufficient, but maybe it'll help. We'll find out. So throttle up, SAS is on, and ignition. And launch. Here we are passing through max Q. Fairly stable at this point. It's a matter of when the core depletes of propellant. So this uncrewed for now as we're testing it. It hasn't come back safely yet. Some overheating there. Booster set. Okay, I thought the little vernier engines would help with the wiggle here. But they're not super duper helping with the wiggle here. I don't think that should be an automatic that it's a shuttle so it should wiggle. I can try and get the little attitude jets on the space plane. It looks like the nose ones like to overheat. I hesitate to use those to dampen this out, but... I don't know what Mechjib is doing. Well, I'm gonna ignite the RZ-20s then, and we might as well uh, enable crossfeed here. You should pay attention to when this depletes. It's using half the pitch right now. Still wiggling. Can we actually go through all the fuel in the external tank? Or not the external tank, the core stage? I don't know. Oh, that might not have been a great move. Okay. Oh! It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we need more powerful separatrons on that, though. <laughs> Uh, also, action grouping the Vulcane and the RZ-20s on the core there might be helpful. Okay, well that's our sort of normal standby orbit. The question is whether we should try to boost up to the, to the station. It's actually still behind us, gosh darn it. So, well let's just plot it out. Let's say I do a burn right now. This is the first time bringing this properly to orbit, by the way. So, it looks like it'll take a hundred to get there. So that's not too bad. We'll try it. We'll actually have to boost higher than the station's orbit. For the rendezvous, so that the station can catch up. And I'd rather rendezvous over here because it'll be at the start of daylight. I guess our fuel cell is on. Anyway, I think I will use the... ...homes for this part. So right now we could potentially do this first docking by a space plane, even though we've docked space planes to other things before. Uh, it doesn't actually require people on board, so dock two spacecraft in orbit and return home safely by landing horizontally. Okay, there we go. Alright, we have docked. 
Okay, this got docked two spacecraft in orbit, so we just have to do the return home safely thing. Unfortunately, even though the Mark II cockpit has 100 tons of avionics, that doesn't count if there's nobody in there. So, great. Alright, well, anyway, we did the docking part. I will transfer some fuel in. Okay, why is the... why is the... Why is the station turning? <laughs> Doesn't need to do that. Nobody asked it to do that. Okay, you just stay where you are. Well, we're going to try to get back to our standby orbit. We are definitely not in line with the Space Center right now. Also good to keep an eye on our comms to make sure that there's no blank patches. Even though I haven't launched a commsat in ages. Okay, now we wait. Uh, we'll try and deorbit this time. It's just barely at night time there. Maybe we'll get some little rays of sunshine. So the other space plane we used to deorbit at about 175 degrees east and at a periapsis of negative 40. That was with the Maya spacecraft. I'm wondering if I should just turn on the Hydrolox stuff too. We don't need the Hydrolox for fuel cell usage. Looks really in the dark now. Oh well. I mean, we launched in the dark, so that makes sense. I think we kept overshooting though. So I'll do 174, let's say. So last time we had overheating of the crew cabin, but that was with a periapsis of negative 64 kilometers. We're hoping that we won't have that with negative 40, but we will see. You can shift some MH and Mon 3 back if we need to. That would be if it's trying to pitch up too much. Well, seems like it's pitching up too much. Uh-oh, overheating. Well, those are the two RCS ports that were overheating on the way up even, so... Eventually, maybe I'll just remake the Mark II parts in my own milieu. After all, it'd be nice to have tiles at the bottom, at least. Same stats, different look, that's all. Well, I mean, I like the pointing stuff and the cross-section and everything. Well, now the cockpit is overheating. Last time it was the crew cabin. But we'll be going up soon. Well, RP-1 really keeps us on the edge of despair as far as these space planes are concerned. I don't know if those RCS ports are going to cool off. We're going back down now. They have not, in fact, cooled off. But if I do remake the Mark II parts, the RCS ports will just be built in and not sticking out like that. Somebody had suggested some some RCS mod, internal RCS thing, but I think just making a new part is best. So those were the RCS ports. Now we've got an engine that's overheating. The right one, somehow. Not the left one. I sort of understood it with the Maya spacecraft when it was the bottom engine. That made sense. I don't know about the right one overheating, but not the left one. Uh-oh. Here we go again. But again, we are due to go up soon. And it's getting dark. I guess it's good that it's glowing from all the heat. Because we wouldn't be able to see it. <laughs> 
Oh no, the crew cabin. Not that. Please. It's the one in this situation where it seems to just straight up accumulate heat and never give it up. With the Maya spacecraft, it was the actual cockpit that did that. Pretty well balanced for now, but we do have a lot of fuel in the tail. So I wonder how it would be if that was empty. Okay, where are we? Well, not too far off. Okay, it's using more pitch. I have to pitch down. We don't have air brakes on here still. Or drag chutes. We seem to be increasing the heat too much. Maybe. But I could be speaking too soon here. All very tense here, as we are now below Mach 6. Well, I'm going to have to take manual control and try to turn it soon. I guess we'll just try and reduce the pitch more and do that. RCS off. We should probably dump the RCS. We sh we'll just... Uh, well, it's fire the engines to use up the propellant. We see signs of a space center. It's the stock runway instead of the nice shuttle runway. Well, we'll definitely be doing a U-turn. At least I can sort of see the runway. Okay, let's try and turn. I can't see the runway as well. <laughs> Gosh. See some glittering. And we're suddenly going very fast. Well, all the buffeting has cooled off the crew cabin, I guess. Okay, well, I better just line up now. Well, we're way, way, way fast. Uh... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, but did I land? Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we'll have to do that again, this time with air brakes and drag chutes and everything, but it works otherwise. So that's the good news. So, back to Space Center. Well, it works except for the core keeps getting imbalanced. So that's a bit of a problem. The Vulcan is tilted, it's just... How much is enough is the question. Well, I like not to do that a few more times, so let's just take off the boosters, empty the tank and see this time. Maybe I should put the little shuttle further up or something. So, alright. Minor surgery here. The center mass is there. We're not going to be able to tilt it enough. Yeah, maybe we should just mount this higher. I mean, technically, the shuttle's engine shouldn't fire until we're done, but they seem necessary to help maintain balance, that's the problem. But then we also have to have the engine work when we aren't empty of fuel. 
Uh, I feel like this might be a little bit extreme. Let's see what happens when we have fuel in. I mean, see? Now we've got a problem too. I don't think these two helped. <laughs> uh, but then again, more thrust is nice. Seven minutes. How long do these go for? Just one minute and fifty seconds. So we'll actually have more fuel in there. We have five minutes and ten seconds after these finish. So, five minutes and ten seconds. Still like that down here. <laughs> it's pretty drastic. I mean, maybe if we have it further this side and then tilt more, it's better. Hmm. Well, one thing we can do is make sure that we can turn off the engines here. Okay. And then we need, definitely need air brakes. That seems fine. And maybe a drag chute or two. I'm sick of those RCS thrusters that blow up too. So we're going to need to do something about those. Can we make the boosters last longer? Not too much longer. Because of the pad limit. I think uh, these are for thrust weight ratio mitigation, so we can make them last longer by cutting some engines. Just these ports didn't have a forward facing one, otherwise we'd be alright. Oh, this one, the internal temp is 1073. So they, they don't follow the the skin. The whole problem is they've set this internal temp to 448. Uh, let's try and replace them with single port versions of these. Let's see. Oh, these are cute. Alright. I think uh, we'll save this. And I think we've made enough fixes for now. Let's try and build one. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Alright, SAS on, thrall is up, ignition. And launch. Okay, booster is set. Well, it's not wiggling right now. Oh, it's trying to though. Yeah, it's starting to. Okay, that's getting a little bit further than normal. Uh, like those in evil crossfeed. Since we have four of these RZ20s lighting and taking from this tank, we'll have to double check the fuel mix. This time, even with those engines, it's doing all sorts of roll stuff, though. Last time it settled down once I activated those. I'm not appreciating its negative attitude, constantly shaking its head like this. Okay, we're getting rough on pitch here. Okay, off it goes. Still didn't quite make it. Might even have less than last time by a little bit. I guess... What periapsis is that? Clearly that's not the station. Did we get the wrong station? Oh no. Oh no, we targeted station one. Oh well. Well, we can actually dock with station one as well. 
I targeted the wrong station. No. Okay. Well, it's in a lower orbit, so it'll be easier to rendezvous with anyway. So, we can still fulfill this contract like that. This won't... I mean, and we wouldn't be able to do anything with the improved space station unless we were carrying crew anyway. So I guess it's okay. This'll make it easier. We won't have to refuel at it or anything. Okay, okay. Okay. Just wanted to get into a higher orbit to let it catch up. Okay, we better make sure that we're controlling from here. Okay, so here we are approaching to dock at long last. Okay, we have docked. Insufficient avionics as usual, but the important thing is... I don't know why it has to check mark launch new vessel, so I'm worried about that. Um, but maybe when we undock, it'll be okay. I, I don't want to take any fuel from it, we're just going to undock now. Why do these always try and turn or do something wild? Right after undocking. I don't need that. It's not a good thing. And the fact that command is collapsed is annoying sometimes too. So, we have to wait for crew to get back in line with us. Okay, ignition. We have extra Hydrolox fuel left this time because we didn't go to the higher station. But that's sort of a center-mounted tank, so hopefully it won't throw things off too much. But then again, we're heavier, so that incurs more heat. I found out that we needed to shift the fuel here back, so we might as well do that first. Unless the parachute and the air brake have changed the balance somewhat. We'll see. In theory, the center mass should be where these little guys are. Right now it's a little bit further back. But we'll find out. Maybe that's okay, or we'll have to shift the fuel back forward. Back forward. <laughs> anyway. I don't know if I should dump that. Hmm. I'm tempted to do a 17 ton limit with this. Just make sure that the dump is not too quick. Okay, so that's 17 tons. Okay, let's go into the atmosphere. Okay, let's fizz work through this bit. Yeah, still a little bit nose heavy, so... Uh, apparently this is where the center mass, or maybe a little bit further back is where the center mass ought to be. So we should shift those little fuel cells a little bit further back as an indicator. Uh, I don't want the crew cabin to get hot, but we're going up so it should cool down. It's This crew cabin has been nice about that. Well, looking pretty good so far. We're going up again. Pretty well balanced, still going down. Uh, as far as whether we're going to get back to the KSC though, I don't know. Depends how much glide we have. We are below Mach 6 and around 48 kilometers. I'll pitch down more. Okay, well I better take control and turn. Okay, we're on atmospheric autopilot. RCS isn't necessary. Mm, I don't... Well, we should probably land lighter, so I'll dump some of that. 
still pretty high. Up oh, there it is. Maybe I should use the air brakes. Okay, we are alongside the runway again, but it's dark again. Okay, basically the same idea as last time, except we've got brakes this time. There's a little glow on the horizon indicating the sun's there. Okay, aerodynamics when it has the air brakes out is rough. Ah, I can't see the runway anymore. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are down. I don't think we need the drag shoots this time. Aha! Aha! You'd better accept this. I landed horizontally. I docked two spacecraft together. I landed horizontally. You better accept this. Okay, let me see the status of that contract. It still thinks I haven't done it. I wonder if it still thinks I should be landing the first one that exploded. Hmm. I think I'll have to get the opinion of my YouTube audience on this. Um, whether I should force complete this or not. It's not like it gives a huge amount. Well, it's, it's necessary for the completion of the program. But I think we've done it. But maybe, maybe it's because the space station that we sent it to was... But that doesn't make any sense because the rendezvous was accepted. Um... I don't know. Maybe we should do it with the second space station. We're gonna do it with the second space station anyway. But maybe we should just force complete it. I don't know. Anyway, we're making money off of it. Uh, we could probably... I mean, most of the money is up here. So... And we're planning to do another docking anyway. So it's probably okay. 